What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? No Zoop for you here. And I've got some more Jean Bart gameplay for you. I, I know I gave some earlier on this week, but I'm just having so much fun in this ship right now. I mean, I, I've always known it was a great battleship. I, I've always thought it was a powerful battleship. But now, for some reason, I just felt, I, I just feel that this ship. It's, it's the perfect battleship for the new meta, the new commander rework meta that we have with Deadeye and everything else. I, I just feel that it hits all the right uh, buttons, and I perform really well in it, and I, I enjoy it and have a lot of fun. And you can see right here I've pushed into the B cap right off the bat hit that w key if you all saw that meme <laughs> i made uh, uh yeah that's a completely different story uh for those of you in the know but um yeah i i am still pushing i'm still determined to move forward rather than backwards and already i'm off to a pretty decent start secondaries are popping though they're not really hitting much, and that's that's kind of the thing about Jean Bart. Its secondaries do go out to 12 kilometers now, but you'll be hard, hard pressed to hit anything at that 12 kilometer mark, though I did just start a fire right now, which is nice. And I'm going to pull just a little bit forward because we are getting flanked. There's a Synop that's deciding to push as well. Oh, oh my gosh, what, another battleship that's pushing in this round? I, I thought that was all dead. I, th I thought that was done. Never to happen again, but apparently, um, what, we're a week or two into the Commander Skill Rework, two weeks, and players are starting to realize that they don't have to sit in the back, even if they do have Deadeye, they can move up and still play the way they used to, which is what I'm doing right here, though I will say for my own part, I've adapted my battleship play just a little bit, and I play them a little more like cruisers now. I, I don't stay in open water. I'm starting to use terrain a lot more than I used to in battleships and creep up to it. And you can see that right here. And, you know, I probably should have been doing that all along. But, you know, just, just the way... I mean, I'm not the only one that plays battleships that way. And there's been very successful players that play them that way. Just sitting in open water and moving up when they need to and pushing when they need to choosing that pivot moment when to push um, but right now with Deadeye I, I feel it's much safer just to push up and use terrain and even though I'm taking some damage right now it, it's not that bad um, getting getting hit just a little bit but I'm gonna heal myself back up now now why do I feel this battleship right now is so good for the current meta and so good to use against Deadeye well, I think a couple of reasons. I mean, one one reason is it forces you to stay bow forward. It forces you to keep your guns forward, your bow forward, because you only have those two turrets on the front. So subconsciously, whether you realize it or not, you are keeping your bow pointed in towards the enemy, which helps in your survivability. I mean, Jean Bart's not the tankiest battleship in the world. It really isn't, even though I've tanked 1.5 million damage already. But, despite that, I mean, it can hold its own. So, I think that's one of the reasons it works. Another reason is it's got that speed boost. So, even if a battleship is sitting in the back, even if it is using Deadeye... If you want to challenge it one-on-one, -on -one, if there's nothing else around, there's really nothing that battleship can do to escape you. You hit that speed boost, you close the gap, and there is very little they can do to get away, because inevitably they're going to hit that S key, and they're going to try backing up. And you really can't go that fast backing up. And when you hit the speed boost on the Jean Bart, you're just going to overtake it fairly quickly. Your secondaries are going to stop popping off. Maybe you're going to get that that fire off of your secondaries and even if you don't you've got your main guns which brings us to the other point you've got the reload boost which allows you to put off a couple more shots per minute than you otherwise would and Jean Bart's guns are pretty fearsome they hurt pretty badly so 
All those three things coupled with each other, I think makes the Jean Bart a really, really good ship in this Deadeye meta right now that players are still trying to figure out. So, if you're looking for a battleship to play or one to be successful in where you're not relying on Deadeye and you want to counter Deadeye, I really think Jean Bart, if you have it, is a good ship to use to do that and finally take that Sinop out. He was a little tougher than I thought he was going to be. I, I don't know why. Uh, we had plenty of ships firing at him. They do have some ships surrounding me that I know of, but I'm going to pull forward a little bit. I'm going to try and get some shots on this Parcival over here and take him out. He's, he's dropped some torps on me here and there, but not really done much to me. And it, it's funny. You know, any time an aircraft carrier sends torps my way and I'm in a battleship, I usually just ignore it. I, You know, I, I take the three to 6,000 damage and just truck on because it's really not worth altering course or possibly, possibly making yourself broadside to another ship to avoid their torps. So uh, that's just me, though. I mean, obviously, if I can avoid it, I will if it's safe to avoid it, but more often than not... You know, torpedoes from aircraft carriers are a nuisance, especially if it's a lower tier than what you are. Now, we've got Kerfurst over here. I saw Palmer and pushing. I'm detected. There's a lot of ships that are going to come into view right about now. And I'm already closing up on to 2 million tank, which I'm pretty pleased about. This Miyoko right here is kind of in a dangerous spot for him. I'm a little worried about his torps, so I'm not going to pull out completely. And there's two nice little citadels right there. Kind of wish I could have finished them off. But, you know, be that as it may, he's going to think twice about moving out. There's the Palmer, and he's flanking nicely. But you know what? We've got three caps right now. They've got none. Even though we're tied ship-wise, I'm, I'm feeling pretty comfortable right now in our ability to win this round. And there's the Grosser, uh, or the uh, Friedrich der Groza. And he's pushing in as well. Brindisi has been kind of a pain in my rear this entire match with his sap. I'm going to try and take him out. Put him out of his misery right now. There's another flare. A nice little flary flare. And two citadels on him. But again, can't finish it. If only I could have got those three citadels. That would have been nice. Would have been really nice. But I've got a lot of targets around right here. That Palmer on the far right is probably my biggest concern at the moment. And the reason for that is I just took out the DeGroza. Brindisi is going to start running because I just took a sizable chunk off him. And Palmer is getting a really good flank on me. And it's funny. Someone's saying, is this going to be a video zoo? Who knows? Well, here it is. It is a video. So, uh, Garrett, you, uh, you got your wish. So... Uh, that Palmer is over there. I'm going to take some shots at him. And lo and behold, the interesting thing, I got a Citadel off of him. Not, not something that I come to expect too often when firing at Kriegsmarine battleships, but I will take it for the Confederate right there. Any, any day you get a Confederate, it's a good day. I've already tanked 2.2 million damage, which I'm proud of as well. You know, I, I'm, at the, I'm at the point now where... I, I take pride in the amount of damage that I tank in a battleship. You know, if I tank over 2 million damage in a battleship, I'm, I'm happy. I, I take pride in that. You know, it's it's a feeling that I put myself in danger, that I soak stuff up, and it's, it's a good thing. And there's that Brindisi again. Man, they are fast and just unwieldy. I'm going to try and take him out right here. Uh, I was hoping that I could get some shots off on this Parsival, and there's a high caliber right there. But Parsival's going to stay behind that island. My big concern now is this Amagi, which is pushing full steam towards me. I've got the islands on my right, so I'm not too worried about the Palmer, and I'm shielded from him. But right now it's this Amagi, which is full health, or almost full health. So I'm going to slowly sidle up right here and hope that he makes a mistake hope that he makes a mistake and pushes bow first right in front of me it would be nice if I could get some more shots on this Palmer over here we have the ship lead right now we've got a commanding point lead and I, I've stayed in B and A the entire time which you know again again 
I, I am proud of the fact that I have a cap assist. You know, I, I, I'm finding, actually, that I am capping a lot more in battleships post-rework post as well. As well as taking out more destroyers than I ever did before. And I think that's because I'm consciously forcing myself to get on cap. Because <laughs> I'm trying to prove people wrong in that you can't push anymore. Because, yes, you can. And you can do well in it. In fact, I played the Palmer yesterday. And the three ships that I sank were all destroyers. And they were all with my secondaries. And I had lots of secondary hits. And yes, secondaries are still viable too. Even on Georgia. I played Georgia and I had like 250 secondary hits. So uh, I know it might not be as effective as it used to. Or maybe I just built it out so that I was able to make the most use out of it. Here's this Amagi creeping right here. I'm pretty low health right now, and I, I don't like that. I'm not concerned that we're going to lose this round. But I do want to take this Amagi out right now. And someone disagrees with what I was just saying. Uh, you can see right there. Kind of disagree with your last couple YouTube videos. Um, well, that's fine. You're allowed to disagree. I have no problem with people disagreeing. And I, I love debating things. And this Amagi probably thought I was going to fire at him. But nope. Brenda C here is perfectly flat to me, and I'm going to finally take him out right here. I'm going to accelerate against this Amagi, and honestly, right here, <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you the truth, I was trying to ramp him. I, I really was, but um, such was my speed that I just wound up getting in front of him and zooming past. Had I realized that I wasn't going to ram him, uh, I probably would have had my guns in the other direction for this Palmer right here, which is going to take me out right now, um, unfortunately. But you know what? Great round. Did 3 million damage, uh, or excuse me, 3 million tanked damage. 212,000 cause damage. I mean, for, for me, I'll take that any, any day. And, again, just a testament to how much I'm enjoying the Jean Bart right now. Just just an absolutely fun ship, in my opinion. And perfect, perfect for this meta right here. And you, you see right now, I'm typing back to that guy. I'm like, that's eh, fine if you disagree. I'm still having fun brawling and pushing. And, you know, again, I've, I've always been fine with disagreement. I, I know not everybody agrees with me. And I know sometimes people downright hate my opinions. And that's perfectly fine as well. I mean... Opinions are just that, they're opinions, and I don't claim to always be right 100% of the time. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. We're at uh, 975 points to 250. This game is slowly winding down. Again, if you got those Jean Barts, give them a try. Totally worth it. Totally great for the current meta, in my opinion. Absolutely beasts of battleships. Really. And we are going to win this one right here. What a fun round. Just really enjoyed it. Being in the middle and, you know, doing damage and just all the things that you can still do in a battleship despite, despite what people are saying. So, <laughs> one of the better rounds I've had recently. And final score, yep. All right. More than 1,000 uh, XP over the second place on my team. I'll take it. I'll take that any day. Not too often that that happens, but I enjoy when it does. Anyhow, take it easy, everybody. Zoop out.